I'll go over it. Um, so on domain and variance, Savannah, what they're asking us to do is domain is asking us what is the set of all x values that are a part of this graph, OK? Now, previously, when we were looking at we just kind of did like mapping feature. You said domain, you know, and you said range, right? And we'd map points. For instance, like here, the x coordinate is 1, and that goes to 0. And then you could say 2 is to 1, right? And we just kept on going through this, 3 is to 2. And we said, oh, these map, right? And when I said list the domain and range, you just listed the points, and you listed the points for the range, right? And it was fairly basic. But now we're looking at a graph. And let's look between point 1 and point, or x value of 1 and the x value of 2. Is there an x value for 1.5? Yeah. Is there an x value for 1.25? What about 1.26? 1.200005? Yeah, there's infinite many points between there, right? So the same thing, there's infinite many points on this graph. So I can't write down all those numbers. All right. So basically, instead of labeling everything that's in the domain, let's label everything that's not in the domain. So is there any restriction on how far this graph is going to go to the left? No. So how far is it going to go? Negative infinity. So we'll say our domain has no restrictions on how far it's going to go in the negative direction. right? Remember, domain is the x set of x values. It's going to be infinitely going in this direction. Nick, the domain says, the, what is the set of all x values? Can you think of a number on this x-axis that, could, that would not have a point on the graph? Let's look at the number yeah. negative 1. Does negative 1 have an x value on this graph? Yes. What about negative 3? 1, 2, 3. Yes, that has an x value on the graph. Is there a number? 1, 2, 3. That's the x value. Okay? And what I'm trying to say is, guys, there is no, there is no break in it. It's going to continue for infinity going to the left. So your domain goes from negative infinity to how far to the right does it go? Infinity. There's not a value of x that you can say this graph does not have a value, x value for. But now let's look at range. Range is going to be the set of all y values going up and down. So how low does this graph go? What is the lowest y value, the set of the lowest y values? It's going to keep on going, right? So if I say, is there a y value for y equals negative 10 million, do you think this graph is going to continue down to negative 10 million? Yeah. So my range goes from negative infinity. But, but how high does my graph go? Two. So the y, if you see, like, is y equal 3? No. There's no y value at 3, right? The highest y value is at 2. So that's why my range is from negative infinity to 2. Okay. So now I want you guys to determine your domain range for those.